Hello everybody and welcome to the tutorial series for the Animal Behavior Kit. In this series, we'll cover the following topics. First, we'll do a project overview. Uh, we're going to take a look at the project as you open it for the very first time when you download it from the marketplace. We'll look at the folder structure. We'll look at where you'll find all of the most important blueprints and when you'll um, you'll find all of the epic content that is actually included here, including the, the models, the animation, etc. Then we'll, uh, we'll start uh, by creating a new level and we're gonna set it up with foliage, with a little lake. Uh, we're gonna use the auto material that comes as a bonus with the kit. And then from there on, we're going to take a look at all of the environment blueprints, things like the, the food uh, blueprint, the water blueprint, um, there are things like waypoints and points of interest, and you can have a specific uh, volume uh, as, as a bounds for the, for the AI. Uh, basically, we're going to set up all of the different things in the environment. Uh, so then when we actually bring in the AI to the level, we already have everything set up so we can move from behavior to behavior very, very quickly. And that's exactly what we'll do after that series of videos. We're going to focus on the ground animals. That's actually the focus of this uh, kit. And we're gonna take a look at general settings, things like uh, the different colors, um, you know, the name, the color, the font, the size, whether you show or hide the HUD, uh, whether you want it to appear only on proximity, or whether you want to show the need system, for example, or the health bar, etc. Then we're going to look at behaviors. These are different roaming behaviors, whether it's going in a random, uh, you know, to picking a random place within the nav mesh or picking a random place within a specific bounds or following a path or going from waypoint to waypoint. Then we're going to take a look at some of the engaged behaviors, what happens when you get too close to the AI and the AI notices you or the AI notices another AI. And we're going to take a look at what happens, right? Does the AI flee? Does it attack? Does it try to hide, etc.? There's a, a huge host of, of uh, customization options there just in terms of the behaviors. So I actually estimate there's going to be actually a few videos just related to those behaviors. Then when we're done with that, we're going to dive deeper into all of the different systems that we have, like the need system. For example, what happens when the animals get hungry or thirsty? There's also a custom needs system, uh, which is derived from that original system. So you can actually create your own custom need. Uh, things like groupings, uh, which you've seen in the showcase level if, you, if you've opened it already. You have the ability to group animals together. There's also population control. There's the breeding system. Uh, and there's a bunch of other smaller systems like growing old, natural death, spawn loot, etc. Uh, the companion system that allows you to tame animals. So again, uh, this is a very, very high level overview, but each one of these bullets actually contains a, a wide range of topics. So we'll go over all of the different systems. Then we're going to take a look at the AI director. Super important. This allows you to create cutscenes or specific moments for the player. Uh, as they're playing your game. And then there's a few other actor VPs that we're gonna round off, such as the animal spawner, for example. Um, and then when we wrap up all of those different things, we're going to take a look at the bonus um, blueprints for birds and fish. And I say these are bonuses because these are way simpler uh, blueprints without the proper AI systems that you'll see for the ground animals. Uh, and once we wrap up this tutorial series, uh, which is going to be many different videos, I do plan to do another shorter version, uh, another series, uh, importing a brand new animal. Um, and actually, based on the recent changes from Epic, that's going to be even easier because there's an actual animal pack that is actually now 100% free to everybody. So you won't even have to spend money. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the free pack and we're going to import an animal and we're going to set up all of the different animations. We're going to create a brand new child uh, blueprint from the ground animal class and we are going to then um, make sure that we set everything up 
as you would when you're entering, uh, when you're um, importing your own custom animals. Okay. Um, I will try to keep the videos as uh, concise as possible um, because there's so much content here. I will try my very best not to ramble and keep them short. And I will try to make shorter videos with specific topics, allowing you guys to skip and go to the video that, that relates to exactly what you're looking for. Um, so things like the need system is going to have its own video, uh, for example. Uh, population system is going to have another video. So instead of making one big video where I go over a lot of things, I'll try to break them down into smaller videos just to make it a lot easier for you guys. As always, if you have any questions at all, there are several ways that you can contact me. You have my direct email address right here, cockygamestudios at gmail.com. There's also the Discord server. Um, I'm going to uh, leave a link in the description of this video. You can join the Discord if you haven't already. Uh, it's a very, very quick way of uh, asking questions and getting support. And obviously, uh, you can leave a comment on the videos on my YouTube channel as well. So thank you guys so much. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Thanks a lot.